What's up, you guys? Good morning. I woke up a few hours ago, but um, I'm still laying down before I gotta go to work. Uh, today, I'm gonna be talking about Evil Speak, starring uh, Clint Howard. And this is awesome. Um, I just saw this for the first time, like, probably two or three weeks ago. Had to order it as soon as I got done watching it. Is about a kid, uh, it's kind of like Carrie, but like a guy version. Uh, he's in a military school. Uh, kids are picking on him. He's What it is, is he's bad at soccer, and the other kids on the soccer team are picking on him. Because they want him off the team, basically, but he insists on playing. He won't quit. They're giving him a hard time, and then even the teachers are giving him a hard time, uh... The coach, I think, is telling the kids to, like, hurt him to try to get him to quit the soccer team, which is fucked up. I forgot to mention that uh, before any of the modern day stuff happens, there's a scene of a satanic cult leader chopping someone's head off. And I guess that guy is buried on the school of, um, he's buried on campus of this school. So Clint Howard, he has to go clean out the basement of the church as some kind of punishment. Um, I forget what he's punished for, but teachers are being dicks to him. They're like, oh, you got to clean this basement out. So he's in the he's downstairs in the basement. There's an old janitor down there. The janitor is always drunk. So Clint Howard kind of has free reign in the entire basement. And he finds a secret room and it has uh, the crypt of... The uh, satanic cult leader. Then also a book on Satanism. He starts reading the book on Satanism. And then um, he kind of gets into it. Then he's on an old computer. Or back in the day I guess it was a modern computer. This was filmed in like 1981. So the computer is like an old Apple computer. It looks like MS-DOS. And so he's typing away at that, and <laughs> he gets in contact with the uh, with the satanic cult leader. I think the guy's name is Esteban. He gets in contact with Esteban's spirit, and Esteban is saying like like sacrifice humans and bring me human blood and stuff like that. <laughs> and he's like typing to the guy, so he brings the computer to. The uh, basement of the church, typing satanic stuff and trying to get revenge on the bullies, and um, it's pretty ridiculous. But it it just cracks me up to think that this kid's in a basement meddling around with like satanism and stuff because he's having a hard time with playing soccer. That's as much as I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna give away the whole movie. It's a lot of fun. Clint Howard gives a great performance. Uh, the other kids give a good performance, too. The ending is fantastic. The ending makes everything in the movie... It's a little bit... It's a little bit of a slower movie. It's not, like, the most fast-paced, action-packed movie in the world, but it's it's also very watchable because of Clint Howard's performance and how it plays out and stuff. But the ending, though, is fantastic. One of the best horror movie endings I've ever seen. Uh, I would recommend picking it up on DVD because I hear the uh, Shout Factory Blu-ray, like, since the image is so clear, you can kind of see, like, the mistakes. Like, you could see people, like, holding up by string and that kind of thing. Like, it kind of ruins the practical effects a little bit. So this is one case where, like, the lower quality uh, DVD image actually helps the movie out. And I have the uh, the Anchor Bay DVD, which is pretty good quality. Uh, it's very watchable. It's not like anything like where it looks horrible or anything. I think that's the right amount of image quality you want for this movie. It's a lot of fun. It's not like the most fast-paced movie, but 
good cast, good performances, and awesome ending, and uh, pretty funny premise of him typing satanic stuff on a computer. I would recommend this to anyone that likes Carrie, anyone that's a Clint Howard fan, like if you like the movie Ice Cream Man or some of the other stuff he's in, then I definitely recommend it. Uh, also, maybe if you like The Exorcist, even though it's a little bit less uh, serious than that, yeah. I give it 4.5 stars out of 5, and that is Evil Speed. All right, you guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Uh, good morning to everyone, and uh, yeah, peace out.